Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the FreeNAS operating system onto a virtual machine. Now, the prerequisites must be in place. What are the prerequisites? That you must have created and configured a FreeNAS virtual machine, as I've already done in a previous video. And crucially, you must configure the storage such that we have inserted the virtual FreeNAS CD into the virtual CD-ROM. And lastly, that we've configured the network to use a bridge adapter and associate that with our active Ethernet card. I've shown you how to do this in a previous video. Okay, so make sure that we have first selected a FreeNAS virtual machine and then simply click the start button, select the start button. And this effectively simulates switching on the physical machine and booting it up. Okay, so the very first thing that we're presented with is a menu, the FreeNAS installer. It will be executed in seven seconds automatically, so I'm going to reset that just to disable the, that timeout. Why? Because I just want to show you, it presents you with a notification message here. Okay, you have auto keyboard capture turned on. This will call the virtual machine to automatically capture the mouse. So if I click on a double click, it'll show me the text in detail. So just be aware that whenever you click the mouse inside this virtual machine, the virtual machine will effectively capture and kidnap your mouse, so to speak. And you cannot use the mouse outside the virtual machine until you press the host key. And the host key is identified as the right control, at least on my computer. On your computer, it could be set to something else. This message should tell you what it's set to. So I'm going to... Um, click X to close that message. Okay, so I want to click inside and it says you've now clicked the mouse inside the virtual machine or press the host key. This will cause the virtual machine to capture the mouse pointer. Fine, so capture. Now notice my mouse is captured inside the virtual machine and I cannot use it outside the virtual machine. So just be aware of that. Once again, to remove the mouse or to allow the mouse to escape, press right control, which I'm about to do now. And there I can move the mouse as you can see outside. Okay, so we're going to go back inside and I'm going to, uh, sorry, do not show this message again anytime I click inside. That's quite useful. So click capture. And now I'm going to press enter to select the free NAS installer. So now it's currently booting up from the virtual CD inside our virtual CD-ROM. Okay. And it's given us this menu option. Again, we've received another notification message to say that the guest OS does not support mouse pointer integration. Okay, that means we need to capture the mouse, which we're already doing, in order to use the mouse. Okay, that's what we're already doing. Fine. So I'm going to close that message. Let us proceed with the FreeNAS console setup. So option one is the option that we wish to select. It's already selected. So simply to activate it, we press enter. Now actually, before I do, just notice that there's an error message that comes, or a message, shall we say, that is displayed. Ignore that. It's not a problem. Okay. So simply press enter to activate the install upgrade option. Next, we're presented with the option to choose a destination media. Select one or more drives where FreeNAS should be installed. So recall when we created our virtual machine earlier, we also created a virtual 16 gigabyte hard drive. And it's onto that hard drive that we're going to install the FreeNAS operating system. So there is only one option obviously selected as well. So to actually enable it, press spacebar, and as you can see, the asterisk has appeared to indicate we've selected this hard drive. And then the OK option is already selected, so press enter to activate that. Next, we're told this will erase all partitions and data on drive ADA0. That's not a problem. It's simply going to erase all partitions and data on the virtual hard disk that we created, which frankly has no data on it anyway. We created it and we did nothing more with it earlier. So select yes to continue. Next, we're prompted with um, a box to enter a root password or cancel for no root password. You should always have a root password. So I'm going to enter a root password now. I'm now going to retype the password to confirm it. And then I'm going to hit tab to activate the OK option. There it's OK, it's, it's, it's selected now. And then lastly, enter to activate it. We then asked to choose whether we wish to boot either BIOS mode or UFI mode. Well, basically, let's use the default BIOS mode, boot via BIOS mode. So press enter to continue. 
And now the installation has begun proper. So this can take a while. Um, depending on how recent or new your computer is, this can take anything from two minutes to 10 minutes or more, depending on how old your PC is. So the dots here indicate the percentage of uh, completion that the install has completed. Okay, so as soon as it hits 10, I'm going to stir. So now we can see 10% installation is completed. Rather than having you watch this as it's quite slow, I'm going to pause the video and resume the video once we reach 90%. Okay, I resumed recording. Approximately three minutes has elapsed since we began installing the base OS. So we're almost complete. Okay, 100%. And now it's installing the NAS, free NAS user interface. Very good. Now it's going to run some various other scripts and packages, and shortly the installation should be complete. Uh, give it a few moments. Perfect. It says the free NAS installation on drive 8080 has succeeded. So we have successfully installed our FreeNAS operating system onto our virtual hard disk on our virtual machine. Now, I don't recommend pressing enter here because what will happen is if we press OK, it will attempt to immediately reboot the machine, but we will not have removed our virtual drive, our virtual CD, should I say, from the virtual CD-ROM. So we must do that straight away. So instead, let us select File, close and choose power off the machine. Had we checked save the machine state, that would save the machine, the state of the computer's memory, the virtual machine's memory. We don't want that. We simply want to power off the machine. Okay, let's do that. Great. So the last step is to ensure that we have removed the virtual CD from the virtual CD-ROM. So again, ensure FreeNAS is selected, press settings, navigate to storage, and as you can see, the free NAS CD still is in the virtual CD-ROM. So to remove the CD from the CD-ROM, simply select it and then right click and select remove attachment. And done. It removes the virtual CD from the virtual CD-ROM. And finally select OK. So that's all I wish to show you in this video. We have successfully installed the free NAS operating system onto our virtual disk hard drive inside the virtual computer. In the next video I will show you how to boot up the virtual machine which will run the free NAS operating system and we will see how to configure it and how to administer it. Thank you very much.